Well, I ended up uh, buying my little mate here and he's, uh, he's well pleased. So we've had a superb time in Australia. And this is it. Step off one country, Australia, to the United States. Welcome to Los Angeles, we are home. Good morning, welcome to day 12, 5.45 a.m. And we're just going to put the final bit of fuel into the car, ready to take it to Brisbane International Airport. 5th of April, 2024. Join us on this journey back to California. We're gonna go Brisbane down to Sydney, Sydney over to Los Angeles. We have arrived at Brisbane Domestic and we're just unpacking the car. Uh, ready to uh, deliver it back to sixth rental car. Final checks, just make sure we've not left anything, and it's been a really good car. Checking, we are still full of fuel. Okay, so this is the domestic terminal here at Brisbane. We're gonna head in here and check in. So security here at Brisbane, absolute nightmare. Bags opened, everything, all items all over the place. Not a good experience. We had another little problem when checked in here. They put us on the Brisbane to Los Angeles direct flight, which wouldn't have departed until 10 p.m. tonight. And it's only 7.58 in the morning. So luckily, they put us back on a flight down to Sydney and then the big A380 over to California. Now, only have 40 minutes to board, so we've not got very long here in Brisbane before we head on down to Sydney. Can you believe it? A can of Coke, $4.49. Oh my God, a complete wrap picture. Cavill Avenue, Surface Paradise, 1963. Check out the cars. Well, this is what Brisbane looks like on uh, this Friday morning. A little bit on the overcast side. Huge storms down Australia's east coast forecast today with uh, massive downpours of rain. All the luggage out in there. Eh? Check out this one, Queen Street, Brisbane, 1981. Unbelievable, wow. Never knew at the side of the actual Victoria Bridge that we walked over yesterday, there used to be an old Victoria Bridge. So back in 1969, they dismantled the old one and they made the new one, which we walk over today. Board flight Brisbane to Sydney, QF 517. Welcome to Sydney, everyone. And it's a rainy day. So that was an incredibly bumpy journey. We're in the domestic terminal now. So we need to make our way over to international. We're gonna find gate 15 first of all. So next stop, gate 15, international transfer. And we're gonna get the bus. So you only need to check in here is if, uh, if you're traveling to the United States, any other destination, just wait in line. Um, but for the US, you need to put these stickers in your passport and ask a few security questions. Time for put my feet up for this long flight to California. So there is a non-essential travel warning throughout Eastern Australia due to this weather bomb that's hitting at the moment. So I guess ours is essential travel. We need to get to LA. So we're now heading down to the bus.
this is the transfer bus from domestic to international. And it's a pretty nasty day in Sydney today. now over at the International Terminal. So I arrived in the International Terminal and that was super, super easy. And that took about 10 minutes. And this is gonna bring you out in the departures hall here at the International Terminal. So check-in is going to be to the right, departure straight on. So yeah, check-in all over there. And we can go straight ahead. Well, as quick as that, through Australian immigration, we have now officially left Australia. Security, an absolute breeze. Very, very easy. Uh, not stressful at all. Just feeling absolutely boiling hot here now. So we now have five hours, plenty of time, before the flight to California. So we're just gonna relax, check out some of the shops, and enjoy our last few hours here in Australia. How cool are these? Those, these are actually puppets. Really like this one, I might even possibly buy that. Jump back Australia. Not bad for twenty dollars. Let's check out all the souvenirs, the koalas, and I do like the uh, crocodiles. They look pretty good, don't they? Crocodiles. Yeah, crocodiles. I'm either coming down with some kind of cold or something, but it is so hot in this terminal. You can see I'm absolutely flushed. Okay, so I've now got my lanyard mic on, so we should be getting crystal clear audio. And one thing that I've noticed here in Sydney, there's not much eatery places at the International Terminal. We've got Macadies, KFC, Malaysian, but compared to the olden days, there used to be loads and loads here. Tends to be a lot of high-end sort of shops now. But beautiful terminal though. A pretty cool Heineken bar there. That'd be really nice just to go and chill out and relax. So this one's pretty expensive. You start at $39 for one main, three salads, uh, plus $5 maybe for pot roasted pork shoulder. So it looks as though if you want to actually sit down at one of these restaurants and have a good view of the airport, it took about $40 each, which is not cheap. So this is JB Hi-Fi, and as soon as I see that, I know I'm home here in Australia. But not for long. Did you know there's actually an Apple store here at Sydney Airport? Well, not an Apple store, but selling Apple products. How cool is that? It's amazing, the prices of koalas. If you shop around, there's a little one there for $51.00. For a few shops down, you can get a huge one for about 49 bucks. So over on the left there is the tourist refund. So if you bought anything in Australia over a certain amount of money, you can actually claim the tax back. So that's where you would queue up and, and do that. It's called a TRS, Tourist Refund Scheme. I believe you can also do it online as well. But pretty easy, you can do that right at the airport there. I think now it's time for something to eat we're at 10 past one we've got four hours to go so now i think it will be a good time to eat i do like the shapes there shaped like australia of course those and of course veggie mice and as you can see you can get a big one Day one tim tams four for 20 bucks but sue has given us a whole case full thanks sue just love me aussie t-shirts so buy three get four free Really Check nice. This out. They've even got the shirts. I've got both of these shirts. Still got them. How's the hats here? About $99. I 
And this is what we use all the time, the Osmo Pocket 3. 1,065 bucks. Just check out the high-end shops here at Sydney Airport. Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Dior, Saint Laurent, Cartier, Tiffany & Co. It's all here, guys. Spend your money before you leave Australia. You even got Prada down there. Valentino. Wow, this is just amazing. Beautiful shops. Absolutely beautiful shops. And yeah, really, really expensive things to buy. Look at the bags in there. Amazing. Gucci sunglasses. I wonder how much they are. They look really good. How cool would they look in California? Well, won't be using them in California when we get there. It's going to be pouring down the rain and cold. Really like the Gucci shop. Look at that, that's amazing. Beautiful just to walk around with them. Rolex. If you've got a little bit of spare cash, before you get on your flight, check that out. Get yourself a nice flashy Rolex or Breitling. Loving the Prada shop. That is really, really good. I do like that. So we continue walking down a little bit further. I'm just looking at a map there, as you can see, Friday the 5th of April, 1320. Welcome to Sydney's airport. And it shows exactly where we are right there. And we can click on food and shops, bars and cafes, pretty much whatever we want. And it shows you exactly what you're going to get. Check the Versace shop out. Wow. Oh my God, my most favorite shop in the whole of Australia, Australian way. How cool is that? Koalas at 45 bucks. We'll just check out all the koala bears there. Small ones at 49. Again, if you shop around, you can get much bigger ones. Kangaroos for about 68 bucks. I really like the kangaroo at the bottom there, but that's 54. Sorry, the, the koala at the bottom, but that's 54. I think you can get some, uh, some really nice ones. Two for 80 bucks, so you can actually get a kangaroo and a koala. Or just buy that guy. 45. You can actually get the kangaroo skins here as well. I do like them. Some of these would be really nice for Nick. It says they're durables, soft toys that last, but who knows? Look at that. A genuine crocodile belt. 327 bucks. How nice would be something to have something like this on your sofa just to relax on. Be really good. Oh my god, I'm gutted. A Porto. The other side of the glass there. But that's before you come through security. So there is a lot more eateries before you come through security actually there, like Betty's Burgers. There's loads and loads. So it's absolutely raining cats and dogs outside here in Sydney today. Good job we, uh, we're not exploring it. Okay, we've gone for KFC, Glenn's waiting for the order there. But there is just nowhere to sit. So we're on uh, QF11, which is gate 10. And it's a 17.35 departure. Well, I ended up uh, buying my little matey and he's, uh, he's well pleased. So we've had a superb time in Australia. And uh, yeah, absolutely lovely. So I hope you've all enjoyed the fabulous videos that we brought you from uh, Australia. And uh, they've certainly been very, very different and I'm sure you'll agree <laughs> we've done much, much better with the quality and uh, the content of the video have been absolutely so as we prepare to leave australia i think we need to do a bit of a, a shout out to uh, some special people so it's a big shout out to janet in the uk for looking after uh, nick for us um, so it's been really good that we've been able to come 
all the way to Australia with Janet looking after Nick. So big clap and, and thumbs up for Janet. And Sue and Neil for looking after us so well. And also Sue looking after me when, when I got uh, a little bit sick that day. So a big thumbs up and a big clap for that. So thanks Sue and thanks Neil for all your hospitality and the meals out and uh, we really enjoyed it and I'm, I'm sure hopefully we'll be back again soon. So if you're watching the video I need a, a name for me, uh, my new mate here. So drop me some comments and let me know uh, what name we're going to, to give to him. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And also another thank you to Adam Highland uh, for sorting out the the holidays for us to allow us to be here in Australia. So a big clap for Adam Ireland. Thank you, Adam. So the time is now coming up to 3 p.m. So we've got about two hours left here in Australia. And we will be boarding Qantas 11 non-stop to Los Angeles, California. And it's gonna be about 14 hours um, over there. Uh, it's currently Friday and we are going to be going back on time. So when we get to California, it'll be at 1.25 on Friday, the same day. So we'll actually gain four hours uh, when we get to, uh, to California. So from me and my mate Koala here, we are going to get ready to board Qantas and leave Australia again for this year. We've absolutely loved it. And just check outside, it is a monsoon here in New South Wales today. The rain is just unbelievably heavy. And here we go, straight out the hangar. Qantas 11 coming into the gate, ready to take us to Los Angeles International Airport. just a spectacular view at the A380 as it pulls into gate 10. Yeah, definitely the, uh, so that is going to be definitely the aircraft. Just absolutely huge. <coughs> We're going to get a spectacular view now as it turns in into the gate here. It's a beautiful aircraft, absolutely amazing. So we're going to be on that for 14 and a half hours across the California. And they're just pulling now more into the, the gate area here. Should get an even more awesome view. This one's called uh, Charles Bolland, is it? Charles Orm. So hopefully this one will have Wi-Fi, video screens and moving maps. It just looks absolutely huge you now. Check out the size of the engine. They're just massive. There we go, Qantas 11. Depart Sydney in about one hour, 30 minutes. So the catering has arrived. All the food is going to go on board and another catering truck as well. And I guess 
Yes, the luggage is coming as well. It's fascinating to watch, but just look at the height of the top catering truck there. That's amazing. He's going to go in through the top door. Well, that's it. We're boarding Honest 11 to Los Angeles. And it's goodbye, Australia. There we go, good view of uh, the A380. And this is it. Step off one country, Australia, to the United States. There we go, final step in Australia. Here we go, we're on 68 D and E. Okay, so this one's not going to be light coming out from Los Angeles, Sydney. It's going to be pretty full. This one's got sky cam and moving maps. This is going to be pretty cool. Along with my fellow onboard manager, Deb, and the rest of your wonderful city based crew, it's certainly our pleasure to welcome you aboard. Starting to push back, only 20 minutes late. Here we go, we are on the runway. We're going to take off over Botany Bay. The weather is atrocious, so we're not going to see much. Here we go, it's goodbye, Australia. 13 hours, 5 minutes to Los Angeles. Yeah, I can feel the uh, call back into your seat now. It's an incredible camera. So we're taking off to the south over Botany Bay. Goodbye Sydney, we have enjoyed it. Australia, we will be back. What an amazing trip it's been. You can see Botany Bay to the right. And there we go, front end up. All wheels off. Still see the airfield there at the moment. We're soon going to be into the uh, the cloud. Botany Bay. Feeling sad, but we are going now to LA. We'll just see that's going to be the last part of the coastline of Eastern Australia as we cross the Pacific Ocean to North America. So the meal tonight is going to be beef and bacon burgundy with mashed potato, peas and carrots and an iconic Australian ice cream, hot chocolate, uh, mid-flight, let's have a look, cheese and crackers, lamington bites, whatever we got. breakfast, going to be wholemeal banana muffin Greek yogurt mango crunch or scrambled eggs bacon sausage posh browns raised beans browns. there we go on the moving map just leaving Sydney Australia leg room not all that good as soon as the seat comes down in front of us, not going to have a lot of space at all. So the route today is going to take us northwest, uh, just east of Brisbane, through Nadi, right past Nadi, Fiji, and across to the south part of Honolulu, and then across into Southern California. There we go, there is the full route across the Pacific tonight. Current time is Sydney, 6.15pm, Friday, 5th of April 2024. Arrive in Los Angeles the same day, 1.20pm, five hours before we left. How cool is that?
going back in time. So plenty of in-flight entertainment. Can't play you any other movies due to copyright. Um, I'm not going to be watching any movies myself tonight. Um, going to have the evening meal and then really get crashed out. So as you can see, the touch screen is, uh, is pretty good. And there is uh, plenty of choices of movies and different films. So you've got classics, Australian, award winners, European, audio, kids, all the games. So plenty of entertainment to uh, keep you occupied throughout the flight. As you can see, currently 13 hours, 8 minutes distance, 7,687 miles, currently doing 485 miles per hour. Temperature outside, minus 40. And we are way out into the Tasman Sea. Always enjoy having a read of the, the Qantas magazine. Plenty of reading there now. And you've got the way you call maps, I think, just given the usual uh, pack that contains toothbrush and eye shades as well. We're just currently east of Brisbane, Queensland, and the seatbelt sign is now on. It's getting pretty bumpy. We've just been served a little snack, crackers and carrots and uh, an olive dip. Didn't really enjoy the olive dip. It's definitely on the, the bumpy side right now. So we're a good uh, hour and 40, an hour and 50 minutes in. And at the moment we've not been served any food apart from that quick little snack. Okay, so I was looking forward to the dinner, the beef which would have been a hot meal, but they are completely out of it. It's a cold meal, chicken, and definitely not my kind of meal, so we're gonna go hungry on this one. Okay, that has gotta be the worst airline meal I've ever had. I don't eat salads or anything like that, so balls of it, there's just cold chicken. And we're well over two and a half hours into the flight. I'm absolutely starving. So we're just approaching Fiji and we've just had an ice cream as well which is very nice. I'm still so disappointed with the meal service on Pontus. Also not far from the international dateline. So Friday night night is going to suddenly become Friday morning, the same day. How cool is that? It's now going to be time for a bit of a, a kip and uh, see how much sleep we can get I reckon. On uh, pretty, pretty much empty stomach. Not good quantities. And a little update. We are about halfway. And look how cool is that? Look at that. We're approaching Hawaii. We're going to go very, very close to Oahu. Normally we go to the south. So during the night we've crossed the International Day Line and also the equator. A fairly smooth flight. We're now passing through the line. Not far to Los Angeles, but a long, long way from Australia now. Not been to Hawaii for a long time, absolutely love it. <laughs> yeah. So close to Honolulu, Big Island. Wow. Just passing really between the Wahoo and Maui. Okay, a bit of an update. It's 5.08 in the morning in Sydney. 
So that would be 4.08 in Brisbane. So just coming up to 24 hours since we, we got up. And uh, we're getting close to, to Los Angeles. It's been a smooth flight. Can't say it's been particularly comfortable. Very, very difficult when all the seats are tilting back to actually get in your seats. Qantas do have really comfy head cushions, but uh, still when you've been here for like 30 hours, it's still not the, the most comfy, so probably I've slept a little bit, and not a lot, I don't think. Overall, we're doing good. We can finally see the light to the end of this tunnel. We are approaching Southern California. I'm guessing in about three to four hours' time. And um, breakfast is served. That looks all right. It looks as though the sky cam is, is broken, which is a shame. Now about 36 minutes before touching down in LA. There we go, we have crossed the Pacific Ocean. You can now see the coastline of California. This is going to be Ventura. Okay, so you can see Los Angeles International Airport right there. It's going to make a left now and go over downtown and we're going to be landing. Here we go, landing at Los Angeles. LAX uh, runway is right in front, landed on the northern runway, straight over the in and out. Of course, this is the first of many A380 arrivals we'll see here on the north side on 24 right.
Australia. It used to be a morning, early morning flight. Now an afternoon arrival. You can hear the winds just blowing around here this afternoon. Vegemite, Rich Riley says. <laughs> and we are home, back in LA. Welcome to Los Angeles, we are home. All we need to do now is just walk to Global Entry, which is right in front of us. And we will be... <laughs> in the United States. And there's quite a few people on there. we go two seconds we're into the united states okay so baggage claim 10 i wonder whose bag's gonna come off first well mine come off first still waiting for glenn's bag yet and it's a beautiful day in california pretty busy alley next to okay so we're gonna take this hyundai suv Check around it first of all. Make sure everything's uh, as good. And yeah, there's quite a few vans in today. Plenty of vans actually. A lot, a lot of cars. So again, just before we drive the vehicle out, just familiarizing ourselves with uh, with everything. And make sure everything's good to go. This one's just incredible. This is got like four miles on the clock. Beautiful. Absolutely brand new. Okay, so we are on the streets of Los Angeles. And let's rate that Qantas uh, flight. So for me, it was... Uh, wasn't that long really, it wasn't too bumpy. Uh, but the food, terrible when uh, they were actually out of any hot meals. All they offered us was like a chicken <coughs> salad, which obviously doesn't do me. So what do you think about it? Not good at all, really uh, poor. Very poor for Qantas, so a big even thumbs the, down. Even the breakfast Qantas. wasn't very nice, the sausage was terrible. And the uh, scrambled egg wasn't even nice. So not really a good experience with, with Qantas, was it, on, on this occasion? No, so, not today. So Qantas, you've got to do better. And then we just experienced the uh, worst Alamo driver ever. How fast was she? She was that fast and braking that fast and swinging in corners. Everybody's cases were going absolutely everywhere. If I'd have got a spare hand, I would have actually uh, left at the traffic light. got that. Would have been good for a TikTok video, I guess. And we are back at our favourite room at 301. It's a beautiful day in California but quite chilly so it's uh, sweaters and coats on and it's breezy. So first stop of course Foxy's of Glendale. What are you gonna have? Patty Mel. Might have a sirloin. We'll see. So we're starting off with clam chowder 
soup. And here we go, our favorite place in the whole of Los Angeles, Griffith Park Observatory. And it's even. It's a beautiful evening up here. So we've just caught the uh, buzz up and parked way below. Now it is a very chilly night in Southern California today. Unfortunately, it doesn't look as though the roof is open there. And there we go. This is going to be the end of an incredible journey from Sydney, Australia to Los Angeles, California. And the sun is now down on this Friday evening. So interesting thing to say today, we got up in Brisbane Friday morning and we watched the sun come up. We're actually watching the sun go down here in Los Angeles on the same day. We never saw the sun go down in Australia. So it's been an incredibly long day. So we got up at Brisbane about four, four or five o'clock in the morning Left Sydney at about 5 p.m. Sun hadn't gone down. 14 hours. And we've been in Los Angeles about another six hours. And we finally see the sun go down. So we've definitely <laughs> gone back on time. Amazing. And it's an incredible view. Downtown Los Angeles starting to, to light up on this very, very cold evening. Well, I hope you've enjoyed day 12, traveling all the way from Brisbane on the beautiful Gold Coast of Australia, up to Brisbane Airport, flying down to Sydney and across to Southern California and our second home, 301, here in Los Angeles. If you've enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, drop me some comments, subscribe to the channel and join us on the final day of this uh, adventure tomorrow, day 13, which is going to be travel back day. We're here in Los Angeles. We're going to try and see as many beautiful sights as we can, heading to London and then up to Manchester. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow.